Levi, what stood out to you about the Steelers or maybe made the Steelers a better fit this time around as opposed to when you came out of Alabama and you were talking to teams after the draft? Yeah, I, um, I think for me, I think Buffalo um, had more opportunity for me to go there and start. Um, and it just seemed like the right fit at the right time. Um, and so, I mean, I was thankful to play for Buffalo for four years. Um, and met the great chaplain. I think that's why I went there. I think the Lord intended me to go there uh, to meet him. Um, he kind of changed my life around. Um, and now, four years later, you know, still there's opportunities here again. My mom grew up, this is her favorite team. And uh, we've always liked the Steelers and love the defense. You know, I've been watching them ever since I came out, um, just how they play together and how they play so well. And so I feel like this is a great fit for me. What uh, stood out to you or, or maybe got your attention when you were preparing to play the Steelers the last couple times you've done that? Man, this, this is a hard team. It's a hard team to play. I mean, you got great receivers. Um, and they got a great defense. And then you got the legend, Ben. He was here for a while, and I just met him a couple weeks ago. Um, wonderful guy. Um, but this is, and they're, and they're led by well known, um, amazing coach too. So it was, it was an easy decision for me to come here and, and try to be part of this organization. Have you kind of been able to wrap your head around all that's gone on besides the Steelers signing you? It's been a pretty active uh, free agency period here in the early going. This team's changed a lot already. Yeah, I've, I've kind of seen it, you know, and I've been so busy with, I just had a football camp last week. I started my foundation a couple weeks before that, just bought a house in Arizona. So it's been a jam-packed off season. And so now signing with the Steelers and seeing everyone that they're bringing in is things are just moving so fast right now. But like I said, I'm excited to be here in Pittsburgh. One of the guys that's uh, jumping on board with you is Mitch Trubisky. Uh, what kind of quarterback are they getting? Man, you know, Mitch didn't play too much, you know, behind Josh Allen. Um, but when he did, you know, I, it was one of those guys we just knew we could trust. Um, and he came to work uh, prepared each and every week um, on and off the field. Just one of the best dudes um, that helped the Bills organization um, and, and pushed other guys. You know what I mean? I think a lot of people just saw him as a backup quarterback, but he was also a leader uh, right there with Josh. And he helped our team get to where we got to last year in more ways than one. So I guess one of those ways, from what I'd read at least, uh, he took that scout team stuff pretty seriously and, and giving you guys a look. Uh, I know there were some comments after your win over Kansas City that he did a pretty decent Patrick Mahomes impression. Nah, Mitch is, first of all, a great athlete. And two, he took scout team serious each and every week. It was, it was hard to get interceptions on him in practice um, because he just, he's going to throw it to the right person, but he's going to make it fit in, you know what I mean? And he does a great job, um, so pays attention to details so well. And so just to have a guy like that that I saw got signed here right before I did, you know, I was pretty excited to see him come up here. You started a lot of games in Buffalo opposite one of the best in the business in uh, Tredavious White. How did that impact your development and how has that affected you becoming the kind of player that you are now? Man, Tredavious, when I first got there, uh, I think I'm, we're about the same age, but I've always just seen him as an older brother. You know, he entered the draft a year before me and just the way he works um, each and every day is amazing. Um, the, just the professional that he is and he's always one of the last people to leave the field. He always wants to be better. Hayes getting caught on in practice in a game. Like, I'm like, yo, bro, like you play corner, just relax, you know? And he's, he, he cares so much about football, um, like he's fighting each and every play for everything. And so just to see the way that he worked, um, pushed me to work that same way. Um, but then he just kind of mentored me and just how he sees things and how the defense is and how to watch film. Um, which I already knew, but he just took it to another level for me. So just having a guy like that in the locker room for me made me that much better of a player. Um, and I can never thank him enough for that. And uh, you've probably been down this road a few times, but I got to ask you, your, your backstory is fascinating. Uh, Jim Nagy from the Senior Bowl just uh, posted it on social media after you signed with the Steelers. Did he have this right? No offers in high school. You were playing intramural flag football in Alabama. Then you walk on and then you make the team, and then you win a national championship with Minka Fitzpatrick, and then you don't get drafted in the first seven rounds of the draft, and then you become a starter for one of the best teams in the NFL, and now you're a free agent prize for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, that, if that's a script, I'm not sure it's believable. How did you get from there to here? Listen, if you want to direct the movie, you can direct the movie. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, it's just a lot of hard work, honestly. Um, I think self-belief. 
Um, and then I just love the game of football, honestly. I've been playing since I was five, and I just couldn't let it go. And my dad told me when football is over, it's over. So you might as well keep playing until, until you know like you can't play anymore. And so I just decided to walk on, and uh, I bust my butt each and every day for Nick Saban and Crimson Tide. And we've gotten here through just sheer hard work. Have you stayed pretty close with Minka since then? Yeah, that's my guy. Yeah, that's my guy. We've done Bible studies. Uh, we've talked every now and then. He actually called me the other day, was trying to get me to come here, and he didn't know that I had already decided to come here. He was just calling me like, yo, like, what are you thinking? Like, like what's going on? And I said, Minka, you ain't heard the news? Like, I'm coming. And I was like, and then I remembered that he wears 39, and I've been wearing 39 since college. He copied me because I look so good in it. So. That's something you could keep it for now.